Hey, what is up guys? Jay here, back at it again with another replica. We have the Samsung Galaxy S24. This is the Ultra. And well, I think, I don't know guys, I did a research quite a bunch and I couldn't find any other replicas out there. So I think I am the first to provide the S24 replica. This is supposedly the one to one. So scammers buy these for about $160 approximately. And then of course they try to resell them out there as the real deal. This video is only intended for educational and entertainment purposes. This is not a promotion of the fake and for such sources and links are not it so without further ado you can see how it comes in a box that doesn't resemble anything to the real deal but that's because this is a cover to hide the true identity guys now unfortunately for me when I tried to to get the uh, pre-order to do the pre-order for the real deal it was out of stock and so I got this first before getting the real deal but if you guys want a side-by-side -side comparison between the fake Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and the real one just make sure you hit that like button if I get over 5,000 likes then yes I'll provide that video for you guys uh, so it really does help me a lot when you guys click on that bell icon as well and follow me for more videos like this I am quite random with these so as you can tell on the back we have what appears to be some seals on there like we have seen with uh, the iPhone replicas and now we get them with the Samsung. So let's see how easy it is to peel. And here it is. Well, that was actually quite satisfying. And it feels like like it is genuine, guys. So this is how they catch you, typically. You know, they, they sell you the phone. They're like, look, it's sealed. You look at the box and you see that, you know, the texture here feels quite real. When you touch the phone logo, it feels quite real. It's kind of like, it's like a 3D print. But now this particular box was made quite fast. And as you can tell, it doesn't have the sticker with the specs and the barcodes as we would expect. And so uh, right here, uh, this whole thing just came apart. So we get the manuals. And as you can tell, well, this, this compartment doesn't look one to one. I'm pretty sure that the general one comes with a whole bunch of booklets. Uh, so what we get inside here is the model, it says SM, then it says G9980, quick start guide, this is all we get. And then of course the USB-C cable, this is USB-C to USB-C, and check this out guys. Of course it's going to simulate to um, have the real cameras in the back in which one of them is a 200 megapixel. We know that it is a wide angle lens. And then we have a telescope, I think it is called, telescope um, telephoto lens. I think that's a 50 megapixel if I remember correctly. Then we have a 10 megapixel telephoto and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. Uh, those are the real cameras for the original phone. On here we're gonna have one camera and I believe it is a 8 megapixel or 12 megapixel. Uh, they don't provide a lot of information with these replicas, unfortunately. So this one does have a flash and it simulates to have all the sensors and all that good stuff that the real one offers. We even have here the pen at the bottom and check this out guys, it actually clicks. This is pretty dope. Wow, I mean, like I said, for a first time replica, this is quite wild. So on the right side, it appears that we have the power key along with the power button as well. On the bottom side, we have the SIM tray and then we have a loudspeaker with the S Pen and then we have the uh, USB-C port here and it looks quite thin as well. I think this is actually a one to one. It does have the antennas here on the top and the bottom. And unfortunately, guys, I wish I had the real deal with me, but wow, check this out, man. This is crazy. I can tell the bezels are not as thick as with the fake iPhone replicas. Let me get the iPhone replica that I have here, and I will show you what I mean. So if you look at this uh, iPhone 15 Pro Max replica, you can tell how on the bottom, you know, the bezel is kind of obvious because the iPhone really goes down here at the lower bezel, but then the rest of the phone looks pretty cool. 
by the way I was just charging this it hasn't been turned on for a while so I didn't have charge on it anyways you guys saw what I mean but with this one it actually feels a lot more natural we know that with the real uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, S24 Ultra we get a 12 megapixel front facing camera and look at this guys this is the Samsung logo it says Samsung Galaxy but it doesn't say S24 uh, unless that comes a little later so this is the boot animation this thing looks and feels real all right that's the crazy part about it let's go ahead and check the weight here real quick and we have it in grams and this thing is 235 grams you guys can't see it but I can see it 235 and I think that's about the same as the real deal you guys can correct me down below and check out here the whole setup screen guys I mean it looks a lot better than when I did it with the iPhone 15 Pro Max maybe because it is Android over Android and with the fake iPhone 15 Pro Max it is a, a uh, iOS skin over Android and that could get a little bit more difficult so let's go ahead and agree to everything here and boom this is it so it is taking as you guys can tell a little longer to set the launcher here and so I think we can immediately connect I believe this one comes with the MTK 6735 which is a really old processor uh, from MediaTek but it is way better than having the MTK 65 a zero and again I'm speaking for a replica well we just logged in here to the Play Store but before we do that let's go on settings and on settings we're gonna go all the way here to where it says about phone and then from about phone we're gonna go into the software information and it is claiming to have Android 14 like the real deal but let's see when we click on it what comes up and this this is not Android 14 guys this is Android Nougat which is Android 7 and we are on Android 14 so this is quite outdated I don't think it can even get updates uh, with apps and, and whatnot so yeah this is quite outdated and it is suspected because when I logged in to the um, to the Play Store it was telling me that this was a Note 7 so I'm assuming they grabbed the internals of a Note 7 and just slapped it on here they can do that very easily because most of the components inside uh, like the camera and other components actually have ribbon cables so they're able to place them differently according to the phone that they are using so the internals are very different to what you would see on the real Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and we know that already it has been confirmed many times in the past so let's go here into the dialer and let's do the little star pound uh, 06 pound and this is the info that we get uh, simulating to be like the real deal but I think the fonts and the style uh, of the modern Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is a little bit different and there's uh, tons of ways that you guys can actually uh, check and see if you have the real deal or not it comes already preloaded with Facebook I wouldn't trust this at all it does come with a Galaxy store now keep in mind guys that it is easier for them to fake all the apps and everything from Samsung because those are just ABK files that they can transfer from one Android to the other. It's not really that hard to be honest. And then we have the simulation of Bixby as well. We get the gallery and we cannot forget, of course, we cannot forget about the S Pen here. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. And well I don't have the S24 Ultra with me but we're just going to play with this a little bit and see if it does work so right here we are trying to copy something I think and we took a like a screenshot and then we can save this information and it seems to be um, well it seems to be responsive let's see uh, screen right let's try this one no no wait 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 okay let's try this again let's try screen right and uh, well that works 
I mean, it's super laggy, but you guys get the idea. It does work, so that's cool. All right, so I think that for now, that's it for the S Pen. The buttons are not real. Even though it has like a clickable button, it doesn't really do anything. Definitely not a stereo speaker. Uh, that's for sure, but the audio is there and uh, it does appear to work and we left this for last Let's go ahead and open the camera app This is going to be very interesting and well, I, I hate to say it this way But the camera looks like a potato. Let's go ahead and take a photo. Let's confirm that here real quick I mean, maybe I could be wrong. I'm watching this through my camera and so we took a photo here and I'm just going to zoom it in and well actually I mean considering this is a first replica it's actually not that bad I mean definitely not at flagship level but let's try that again let's try that here with these two boxes and let's see how it does and so let's go ahead and open the photo app and yeah I mean like I said, it's not going to be at flagship level, but I would say it's in the category of a budget Android phone, which I don't know, whatever you guys want to take out of that, but definitely not the real deal here. So this is the 10 times zoom. We have three times zoom, one time, the standard 10 times. Let's go ahead and shoot a picture. And check this out guys, it has a corrector already built in. So I took that photo and this part is quite impressive. You can see that it captured all the details and the box is back there. So this, the zooming part was actually quite impressive for a replica, especially a first time one. This is the front facing camera. Let's see if we are able to change this to full maybe. There we go. So, hmm, yeah, I mean, it's, it does have some sort of face detection mode. I think for the video, let's go ahead and check the video here, the settings for it. And uh, it doesn't have a resolution. It just goes by high quality, low quality. So let's go here into video. Yep, quality, high quality. Okay, so it has high and low quality, and that's about it. But at the most, this is like a 720p resolution. Let's try that again on the rear. Let's go ahead and check the video settings. And the same thing, we have high quality. Well, here we have medium quality, and then we go back into low quality, as you guys can tell. All right, so again, not a bad camera in the sense of this being a $160 replica. But if you do your research before buying a phone in the streets, which I don't recommend, well, at least now you know what to look for, guys. The things that you should do is, first of all, check the IMEI, check and scan everything. Uh, the box does look a little bit funny. And I would just say, just buy it from the retail store. Don't buy on the streets because you never know what you are getting. Once again, if you guys have any questions, just leave your comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and share. And please, please, please click on the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this. And I'll see you on my next one.